Hi guys and girls, it's me Olivia, aka Sisligracy. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And yeah, I always get excited when it's YouTube video time of the week. <laughs> it's such a good feeling. And I'm sorry I didn't have a vid last week. There's a bit of a story to that, and I will explain that a bit later in this. But this is basically a Kaz SimSelf video. And I decided to do it because I've just done my mini face reveal, which went really well and my display picture is now different. You have my little face, you can see what I what I look like. And I thought I'd actually now uh, turn myself into a, do my sim self, I should say. Turn myself into a sim, that sounds a bit weird. <laughs> um, yeah, do my sim self and yeah, we can do it together, which is fun. Now this is a recording that's already been done. I'm not amazing at multitasking, so I can talk to you and do this at the same time. So I'm doing two separate things. And this way the video will be more chilled. And I think it will be a little bit longer, about 20 minutes, but I thought if I'm posting about once a week, I want a decent length vid for everyone. So yeah, hopefully we can get some snacks and just chill or just have this in the background while you're doing stuff, whatever you want to do. So yeah, there's my face. Ta-da, there it is. I should have said that earlier. I'm about to put my face up on the screen. Um, yeah, there it is. And I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit airbrushed in that photo. I will thank my sister, I'll credit my sister, who was a graphic designer for being able to spruce up photos. <laughs> so I never look that porcelain in real life, I'm just saying. But it kind of works in this case for Sims because Sims have like really, really perfect skin. So. So it should be fine. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm starting off with uh, trying to get, trying to resemble, trying to get some features that resemble myself to start with, generally speaking, in a broad sense. So kind of, I'm trying to like figure out the hair color here. We're a little bit limited with hair colors, but that is kind of a good mix. So that works. And the face shape is not looking like myself at the moment. And yeah, like I said before, the mini face reveal, it was, it went really well. I was scared about it, obviously, because I've been putting it off for such a long time. Because I, yeah, there's a story behind that too. I just haven't been comfortable, obviously, showing my face for a long time. But it went really well. I got really nice comments. So thank you so much for people who were nice to me about it. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, oh, there we go. There's a hairstyle with bangs. I think that came from Seasons. It's a has it? I can't quite see the screen, but I'm not going to go with that that hairstyle. I'm going to go with this one because I feel like my hair's grown out a bit now and I don't have the bangs and that looks more like my hair when I haven't had a haircut for a long time. <laughs> so I'm going to pick that one. But um, yeah, I have, I think, quite a different face shape to Deli. I have more of a rectangle face. Hers is like a little love heart and I think that's a main reason. I mean, we joke that the only thing that we have in common is eyes and ears. So everything else is kind of different, I think. Although our voice and intonations and mannerisms and stuff are pretty similar too. But yeah, I, I don't know what you think. Feel free to comment if you want, if you, if you think we look like, if I look like, if we look like each other or not, but that's kind of my interpretation. So what I've got to do is lengthen this face out because my face is not that rounded and this is hard to do in the sims um and i get i get like anxious when i'm trying to lengthen out a face in the sims because it often just ends up looking really weird so i've just lengthened it out a tiny little bit to try and give it some length i'm trying to get give myself more of a forehead <laughs> a four finger forehead because i have so many brains to fit in my head right so that's what i'm doing and i just thought maybe if i lower the eyebrows a little bit that will kind of give it more length to the forehead. So that's what I was doing. And if only we could do this in real life, right? If only we could stand in front of a mirror and <laughs> tweak all our features. I kind of feel like asking you guys, if you got to tweak something on your face in Kaz, what would it be? What would you do? I know what I would do. I don't really want to say it on the internet because then you'll forever notice the bit of my face that I'm self-conscious about. But yeah, there is something that I would do for sure. And um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing and trying to find um, lips, mouth shape that is more like mine. It's kind of not too big, not too small. I have my lower lip a little bit bigger than my top lip. So that's what I was looking for. And you really just have to go with the best match. It's very hard when you're doing Kaz 
to get a perfect match. So you kind of have to go with the best option, I think. So that's what I'm doing there. And I have... <laughs> I've stripped myself into my underwear for all of you guys to see, for the internet to see. No, um, because I find you can do the body shape better if you can actually see what you're working with. If it's if you haven't dressed your sim yet, does that make sense? So that's why I'm standing there. My sim self, I should say, <laughs> is standing there in, in underwear. So that's kind of my body shape, I think. I'm a bit of a skinny bean, skinny mini. I sort of always have been. Um, yeah, like some people say, oh, we could snap you in half, Olivia, or we touch you and you'd fall over. Like, I'm not kind of that strong. And Deli often has to do the lift, <laughs> laps to lift things for me. So, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. But yeah, I don't know. I did ballet for years. I don't know if that has anything to do with genetics. Probably not. But anyway, anyway, that's what I, just a little bit of self-analysis. It's kind of weird talking about yourself online like that. It's really, really strange. But anyway, I have made a little list here of things that I wanted to bring up with you guys and talk to you about as we do the CAS. And um, I'm just having a look now. So I want to tell you how the face reveal went. So that was cool. Um, and yeah, that's right. So last week, the reason I didn't have a video was because I actually tried, believe it or not, um, <laughs> to do a sit down face cam video with cameras and you know lighting and all the whole shebang and so I actually did it I I did it it was bizarre talking to a camera it was the weirdest thing ever I had a lot of help from my sister who <laughs> who's experienced and has all these special skills to do all this kind of stuff um, but look I look back at the footage and I was not ready to post that on the internet. I was like, oh hell no, I'm not putting that up. So it's totally gonna be baby steps. I've got the photo out now as a DP. I feel okay with photos. I can probably add some to my Instagram. And another thing I discovered was, um, which I thought of is Snapchat, right? The filters, the filters are so cool. So maybe what I'm gonna start doing is starting with that next step is maybe I'll start using my uh, snapchat and Instagram and using the filters and talking to the camera and talking to you guys that way so that is my great plan so yeah I, I did want to fill you in on that stuff as well so you knew and um, anyway so we've done the face sorry back to the cas we've done the face and now it's time for the dressing the dressing I don't mean like uh, like <laughs> what you put on salads or on wounds um, I just mean like it's time to get dressed and this is the fun bit the anxious part is done I feel like that's not a bad resemblance of myself and it's time to get my style happening and I have given the my aspirations as you can see is family because really deep down that is like the the thing that I would love the most. I'd love to have a family one day, to be a wife and a mother. That's my thing. Apparently that's a very Cancerian thing to say. I'm also a Cancer as my horoscope. So yeah, uh, I have put a wedding ring on my hand, a cheeky little wedding ring, if you saw that there. And uh, my traits are ambitious, good, and creative. I could have put more traits. I probably could have put like perfectionist and I love music. I could, pr probably could have put that in there, but there's not enough room. So yeah, I, it's, now it's time to get my style into the sim and uh, and I'm putting a bit of makeup on my sim as well. Now, <laughs> I kind of laugh sometimes when I see guys playing the sims, right? And obviously there are plenty of men who wear makeup, obviously, um, but there are plenty who don't and same with women actually. But <laughs> I was watching my guy friend play the sims and he got to the makeup part and he was like, Liv, I don't know what to do. What do I do? So I talked him through what, what you know, what you should put on. So guys, you should pay, att <laughs> pay attention to that. And I always use the same thing. I always use the same blush, the same um, eyeliner, and oh, I change your eyeshadow and lipstick a little bit. But guys, you should definitely put that on your female sims because it makes them look Look good. I think it looks good. Okay, I've sped up the footage now because it's going to take a long time if you were just watching 
it in real time. So I've just sped it up, I hope that's okay. And we can see it all happening quickly. And yeah, so this is really true to my style and what I like to wear. I'm gonna do a whole video soon, I think, too. And I wanna show you guys what kind of things I bought recently, because I think that's always interesting to see those videos. Um, I have done one in the past, but I'll do one again. And yeah, so my, as you saw that red dress for formal wear, uh, I think it's new with seasons and I put wedges with it. I was trying to find a dress for wedges because in real life I have like this bunion on my foot and I can't wear proper high heels. So wedges, it has to, has to be, it has to do. Uh, okay, and I'm putting my hair up for athletic and that jumper looks so much like my DP picture, that picture that I put up before. That's why I went with that jumper because I thought, oh, I have to match the clothing somewhere of that display picture. DP picture? Display picture. That's what it sounds stands for, DP. So yeah, I have quite thick hair, so I put it up for the um, athletic. And uh, what am I going to now? I normally do a couple of outfits for each category. I just find that sort of more interesting in the gameplay because when you're playing Sims, you can get a bit bored of <laughs> what they're wearing pretty quickly. Um, yeah, and I live in my dressing gown at home. I don't know what I would do without my dressing gown and Ugg boots. So I'm definitely putting that into the sleepwear. You saw that briefly. Sorry, it's going really fast now, so we have to keep up. And I was trying to like mimic my the boots that I wear during winter. I can't actually wear high heels like that. That would hurt my bunion too much. So that's a bit of a fake outfit, that one. But I really like that outfit and I use it pretty much every time I played The Sims. It's just a go-to outfit of mine. And I am putting on slightly more makeup for my Sims self at night time. The date and that like darker lipstick there. So yeah, guys, when you're doing it, <laughs> guys who don't wear makeup I should say, when you're doing your female Sims, um, you can go darker with the eyeshadow and the lipsticks for your evening wear. There you go. There's a tip from your girl, girl pal, your girlfriend to <laughs> Cicely Grissy. You know, I don't mean like girlfriend. Girl space friend. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. And we've got to get rid of that hat, that bonnet on the head. That is not a good look. So that's gone. Oh yeah. So occasionally I use the, what are they called? The outfits that have already been styled. Um, I forgot. Styled looks, right? I think that's what it's called. Styled looks. Um, and that one's a really cool one. I really like that one for hot weather and I just changed the colors a little bit because I was not like, sorry, I'm getting jumbled with my words, which I do in every video if you've noticed. Um, I wanted shoes that I would actually like. Like I like the, the more brown colored shoes. You just change your colors up to the styled looks that you prefer. It's a quick way to dress your Sims. So yeah, it would be <laughs> a lot quicker had I done that, but because I want to do this really well, um, I'm picking things that I would want in my wardrobe. And I really like that coat that's in seasons for girls. Um, there we go, there is a more natural sort of lipstick there. And yeah, that's my everyday look, just a little bit of eyeliner there. And yeah, I love my earthy, muted colors, um, probably because that's what suits me the most, I think. I'm not very good in like bright colors, pastel colors. I know some people can really pull that off. Um, although I don't know how many people can pull off yellow. <laughs> I, you know, like bright yellow. And I should just say, tell you something quickly from um, a little bit of Australian culture. Um, our colors, I think are like green and gold. So people often buy green and gold t-shirts, like that really bright yellow t-shirt. And uh, my friend from uni, he bought one, he was an international student, and he's like, look at my cool Australia t-shirt, and it was so yellow, <laughs> it looked so bad. <laughs> but I, I didn't want to be mean and be like, that's hideous. So I said, it's, it's great, I'm glad you've got Australia merch, there you go. So anyway, just a little quick sidetrack story <laughs> for you. Okay, yeah, there's a dressing gown I was talking to you about. Like, that is what I wear around the house. My dressing gown and my Ugg boots. And I think what I was thinking of was I like tracksuit pants that cuff around the ankle. So I picked that as well for um, my second going to sleep outfit. 
that is what I would normally wear. And I thought, oh, I really like wearing some boots with a skirt, so I've tried to um, mimic that outfit as well. Um, I mean, custom content is quite good, I suppose, for Sim selves. I don't have custom content in my game. Maybe I should put a little bit in, but I'm worried it will crash. And I don't want problems with my game and my computer. So I don't know, what do you guys do? Do you take the risk and put in the custom content or do you stick with Maxis sorts of things? Um, yeah. Anyway, that's just what I do. Maybe I should be a little bit more adventurous in life. <laughs> but I just, I, I tend to, tend to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, so what do you think of the style? Do I get an approval <laughs> for this sim look? Is it okay? Um, okay, wait, there's my picture. It's back again. There I am. I just wanted to put that up as we do a real, sorry, a real life walkthrough, a real time walkthrough. So here is the outfits. You can see them properly now, not all sped up. Um, if you go into my wardrobe at home, you probably see all of these things. Like, this is literally all the things that I have. Um, <laughs> yeah. And nothing like uh, um, the Kaz that Deli and I did together. We did, we tested out the Korean, Caribbean style clothes with uh, Amani Marisha Kai. So bright and colorful. My clothes are not like that. Anyway, I put them up on the gallery, by the way. I forgot to put them up last week. They're up now if you wanted to download them. Um, the cas that Deli and I did together. So yeah, these are all literally all the things that I work out in. I always have these black tights. What do you call them? Like exercise pants. Um, that is totally what I would wear. I have short versions. I have long versions of them. You've probably seen them in videos that I've already done. Um, yeah, I have been very true to true to myself, and I sleep with my hair down and. Embarrassingly, I put a beanie on in winter. Like, how embarrassing is that? But it's so cold. So I literally sleep with a beanie on. That's a bit cray cray, but you, I otherwise, like, you lose like 80% of the heat from your head. So, apparently, something like that. And yeah, so I get cold. I want to put that on at nighttime. I probably should have done that in the CAS. That's the one thing I didn't do, was put the beanie on. I might have to go and change that. Um, I will put my my latest sim self up on the gallery, I think, uh, in case you want to put me in your gameplay. And if you do, please give me a good life <laughs> in the sims. <laughs> please don't like, yeah, do something horrible. I, I, I should tell you this, there was a viewer and he sent a picture of me. He's like, hey, I put yours and Delhi sims into my game. And he's like, oh, you're bald. I didn't bother putting a new hairstyle on and you wear these really weird glasses. And I'm like, why did you do this to me? <laughs> and he said, oh, you're gonna work at the wig store. I was like, what? So anyway, if you put me in your game, please give me like a nice story. I would love, you know, to have a, a happy ending that's like a good one. Anyway, um, I think we're nearing the end of this video now, but I hope you have enjoyed watching the process and gotten to know me a little better and enjoyed just having the video on while you chill out and um yeah oh i can't wait for the next video i love this anyway i will try and get a video out next week and um be on time with that so yeah thanks guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next vid have a lovely lovely week ciao ciao